Just unsowed from Terraria. <laughs> how, how is there an NSFW Terraria post? How do you, what is, what is that? What does that entail? <laughs> Sorry that it, like took me like four four times to say. Well, what makes a what makes a Terraria post NSFW? I'm actually I, I don't want my question answered. I'm just I'm I'm pondering for the sake of pondering. I don't want an answer to this question. Just unsub from the Obama White House. He hasn't uploaded in six years, and I'm tired of waiting for new content. Well, I mean, look, he's trying. And so look, I would know about not uploading. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, I just looked. To be fair, his last video is called Obama Farewell, I think. <laughs> I think he switched over to doing Minecraft content. Fundamentally, Minecraft is the greatest game ever created. Funny and sad strikes yet again. Mind games and childhood memories, neuro spicy moments. W what's sad about it? It's relatable, so it's a little funny, but what's sad? You're not fitting the, you're not fitting the subreddit theme, pal. This is just, you're just farming. You're karma farming. Just unsubbed from memes because that sub has become full of depressing memes. How I be looking at happy couples. <laughs> God, the, the title. Burn them all. Why? What do they do? And why Squidward got those sunken eyes? Unsubbing from Forever Alone. Being alone isn't bad. A relationship won't make you happy. You have to learn to be happy with yourself first. People who are never alone for more than a few months. I mean, I agree with the sentiment. You have to be happy with yourself first. You don't you don't rely on others for your happiness because then that puts that, it becomes like a dependency, you know? I agree with that. I've been lonely and unhappy for a lot of my life. Damn, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. But I've come to the conclusion that I agree with the first and last sentence, but not the second. A relationship can make you happy, but it's not the be all end and I, I can okay that's fair yes I that's a fair take <laughs> wait why is he being downvoted these people seem to think that this one thing they don't have is the sole reason for unhappiness but I've come to believe that it's a trap life plays on us it convinces us so that if we only had this thing everything would be great but that's not the way it goes I get the advice is cliche but there's still truth in it oh I, I mean Listen, um, this isn't phil philosophy hour, but I, I think if you're constantly looking for something to fix you or like, and I, and I mean like happiness, if you're like, well, if I had this, this would make me happy. If I had that, this would make me happy. You're, it's just, nothing's gonna actually make you happy. You're gonna get the thing, you're gonna acquire the thing. It's gonna be like some instant gratification, but then over time you're gonna be like, but now I'm not happy, so what else do I need? Yeah, it's, it's like a cycle. You gotta be happy with oneself. Acceptance comes from within. Those kinds of places are just pools of misery. You're better off without it. I didn't even know such a miserable subreddit exists. Yeah, well, have you seen bread stapled to trees? That's a, that's, I hate, <laughs> that's it. Look, I'm hating on it. I'm a hater for bread stapled on trees. I don't understand it. And since I don't understand it, I reject. <laughs> Just the full, just full ignorance. I don't get it, so I hate it. No, I don't care. I don't care all that much. Just unsub from PC Master Race. Never seen a more unhelpful group of people. You Fortnite kids and your wacky ideas. Just play at native res. I mean, hey man, there's a reason top competitive gamers do it like there's reasons not to. You sit like this too? <laughs> Come on, man. CS players try all sorts of wacky stuff in order to gain attention or simply just be unique. There's slight truth to some of their features like resolution stretching or a minuscule input delay difference in Razer's 8000 DPI mouse, but there's often not any real or a very small benefit. Hey, I'm getting in the game, man. Small benefits means big gains when I get that victory royale. Don't you diss me, I'll box you in. I play zero build and I wouldn't, I wouldn't box you in actually. Just unsub from suburban hell. These people are so ungrateful. This subreddit is about suburbs, how bad they are, how ugly they are, and solutions against them. This is like moms against suburbs. It's a beautiful day in hell. What do you mean? You got your own backyard? Dude, dude I'm, what do you, I don't, I don't own a house. What are you talking about? Beautiful day in hell. The sun's out, it's a clear sky. You got your own backyard, it's fenced in. Look how big it is, dude. There's so much room for activities out there, man. What are you talking about? People will do nothing in their backyard and wonder why their backyard looks so dull. Uh, e exactly. Dude, there's so much free space out there. You could have a project out there. You could build a little, you could build a little like uh, a little, a little thing. 
like a little, what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? A little gazebo. You build a little gazebo. You put some plants in there, you could garden. You, you, there's so much you could do. There's so much space out there. The only one limiting yourself is you in, in the HOA, but mostly you. This guy really posted a picture of his own backyard like, this is hell. <laughs> what the hell, man? Go to Home Depot or something. Just unsubbed from r slash Peter explains the joke for this kind of sh Doctor, I'll be delivering the baby. Dad, I'd prefer the baby with a liver. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't get this joke? <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> This guy posted it twice. He posted it twice. He's karma farming. See that? He posted it in memes and in explain the joke. I like this. The audacity to say dad jokes are the best and then repost asking for help not even an hour later. I suppose it's to karma farm, but why is karma so important for those people? You don't understand. So Redditors treat. It's their validation points. The more karma you have, the more correct you are on the internet, which is the best kind of correct. Not correct by definition or correct by technicality correct on the internet just unsubbed from ask women removed mods are removing almost everything hey what's up ironwood uh your comment's been removed dude ah uh, boo the rules made by mods in that subreddit are, un are unnecessarily strict. Almost every comment gets removed for merely stating that the mods remove much. You get banned and receive a passive aggressive answer. Not worth it. Least power hungry mod. We found them. We found the least hungry. Just unsub from Terraria. Oh no, is it another NSFW post? Oh, I, okay. All right, got it. How did they turn a literal skull burning with blue fire, hardest thing in Terraria, into this? Is it just me or is every Reddit fan base turning into similar post pools. Well, that's because it gets the upvotes. Just unsubbed from mildly infuriating. No need to insult our god over some people's stupidity. I mean, it's not just your god. Religion in general is the worst thing ever to happen to humanity. Thank you. I feel like so many misguided people gave Christianity a bad rap and make us all out to be crazy freaks who don't believe in science and stuff. The vast majority of us aren't like that. I just want to go to one big sub that doesn't have a hate boner for religion. It feels like everyone on this app hates any form of religion. Again, a subject I don't really want to touch. I'm not religious myself. Uh, but I, I don't think that this is the this is the channel or the forum for religious commentary. All I'll say is, is if there is a God and I, and I die, I gotta ask him what the fuck was up with making lobsters and scorpions and shit. Why? Why mosquitoes? You just spitballing? What's the point? Just unsubbed from funny memes. None of it is remotely funny and sex is everywhere. Oh, come on. Shout out to the females that are trying to better themselves. Come on. Pick your funny up. R slash funny memes could be renamed to R slash images for porn addicted middle aged men. <laughs> That's too long of a subreddit title, so I don't know if they're going to change to that, honestly. Half of them are teenagers and children. That's the saddest part. Well, half of that half actually thinks that they're funny. It's brain rot, dude. Full on brain rot. Just unsub from alcohol. I don't know what the hell I was expecting from this sub. Crushing 100 beers a week, 2024. If you ain't drinking, you ain't living. 2024 is my year. My plan's at least 100 beers a week, all 52 weeks. Through my first two days, I'm already at 40 for the week. Anyone looking to join in on the fun? I don't have a liver. It just deposits out the other end. <laughs> liver? I don't even know her. Whee! Now bring me that keg. Just unsub from black ladies. I should have done it sooner, but this was the last straw. Am I the answer for supporting a white girl with corn roll? <laughs> Cornrows, not Conrolls. Sorry, just the way it was written, my brain totally just got thrown for a loop. I, a black female, am an acquaintance with a girl who was white. She decided to get cornrows, and many of my friends called them ugly in cultural appropriation. I personally don't think it's cultural appropriation because she's gotten them for enjoyment and style, not for hatred. I told her that I liked them, but I don't know if she took it as if I was mocking her. Lots of people disagree with me, though. Edit. The misspelling of cornrows got lots of people mad. I apologize for my bad spelling skills, and I'm not well versed in the meaning of cultural appropriation. I'm just going off what I heard. I'll put in a bit of research for the actual reason. So that's the Am I the Asshole post. We can debate in the comments, uh, but this person says, how much do y'all want to bet that this is a white woman writing this? If you feel like it, you should be able to find the post. The comments are what really got me irritated as hell. In a short recap, 
Most of them were either A, bashing the person's one typo, B, stating that the poster can't possibly be black because she referred to herself as a black female and apparently we don't do that, or C, using her accidental misspelling as a reason to deny her being black. I'm just tired of it because most of the people on this sub are part of the problem and instead of realizing that, they instead blame the whiteies. I legitimately don't know why I stayed subbed as long as I did. Feel like I'm, I'm not qualified to talk about this one. Don't know why though. For those who picked up on it, that was a little bit of sarcasm. I do know why I wouldn't be qualified to speak on this one. Just couldn't do it after this one, man. R slash depression meals. Oh boy. Just porn relapsed again. Have $40 worth of sex toys coming in the mail. Salmon burger. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. Depression meals is funny as hell. How am I supposed to process this other than uncomfortable laughter? Like, my life is falling apart and I feel like my wife never loved me. Chicken tacos. It's not something you just post somewhere. It's true, it's not. It's very concerning. Just unsub from The Last of Us 2. Ooh, wait, now we're getting to something I know about. I don't know if I've ever seen a community of haters like this. Oh, this is her after training. I can't wait to see how much of a train wreck season two will be. I don't know if I've ever seen a video game community so mad that their game got an Emmy nominated show. I feel like ever since The Last of Us 2 came out, there has been an entire flip on what people feel about the game. I, I, I've i seen my, my girlfriend play the first and second game all the way through. She did not like the second game. I can understand why people don't like it. I'm not saying that it's like a, perfect game okay what i am saying though is after that game came out i feel like there was just an entire like 180 of how people felt about the first one and then the show came out uh and i think especially after um the episode with with uh, bill and frank i don't know i feel like people just started being haters i like it i like last of us i think it's a fun cute show i liked the first game second game i wasn't crazy about but I, I feel like you know that's kind of the uh the standard answer but i i think that you know give this give it don't don't hate on the show it's doing well for a reason it's it's a good video game adaptation i just don't understand dude the show was fine for 95 percent of it it stuck very close to the video game and cinematics within i haven't played the second yet I plan to and I plan to enjoy playing it. Like my comment on the post says, I'll never understand why The Last of Us sub is so mad about an Emmy nominated, uh, nominated, oh my God, adaptation of the video game they love, especially when so much of it's done so well. We've received multiple shows and movies within the last five years that don't even hold up in 2024. I don't know how so many people can be such sour pusses for so long because it's changed in a way they don't like. It's not a one-to-one -one faithful. Uh, I, that's, that, that's my assumption. Uh, people get really pissy about like the smallest things. And especially the, 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 with the, the show coming into its second season, and it's going to be based on the second game. It, that second game is so contentious. This comment explains it. The thing is, even if the show was amazing and groundbreaking, it was fighting an incredibly uphill battle because of how much The Last of Us 2 pissed off the fan base without they treated their beloved character so cheaply. Just unsubbed from Dog Free. I thought it was a place for people who would just rather not have dogs or prefer cats, but that place was downright psychotic. I get a lot of the stories about bad owners owners or bad encounters with animals, but my God, the comments about how dogs are bestial monsters who all need to be put down or locked away. One was about a guy who bought a dog a steak in a restaurant and the owner let the dog eat it on the floor. All right, yeah, that's unsanitary, but also kind of cute. And yet the comments lit up about how the owner of the restaurant and the dog both need to be arrested. <laughs> the restaurant shut down and plenty of other comments saying dogs should be banned from public spaces entirely for this reason. I like dogs, I just don't like owning them or living with them. Practically all the posts were like the one described. My stay was very, very short. I feel like a lot of, if you're joining a community like that, chances are it's gonna be like that. I feel like it's just a lot of like echo chambery. There, there's exceptions obviously, but I, I, I feel like it's getting more and more like to the extreme parts of it. You know what I mean? This sub has been going downhill for me and this was the last straw. Oddly terrifying. The pervert watching your every move. Christ is the head of this home. The unseen guest at every meal. The silent listener to every conversation. The peeping Tom to every bathroom trip. <laughs> 
can see why that's oddly terrifying. Why Why is this a last straw for you? I get it, I understand. This subreddit has become simping for Pomni. Come on, man, leave him alone. I do like how she was drawn in this though. Looks like she fits right into the Johnny Bravo universe with that. I can appreciate that on the artistic end. Just unsubbed from F cars because of posts like this. National Lampoon's European Vacation is a very car brain movie. Car brain, what a, what a flair to have this post. In the movie, the family goes to Europe as the title suggested, but in the entire movie, you just see them driving across to Germany when mainland Europe has fast trains that could have gotten there sooner without getting anything wrong with their car or getting lost in random places. Yeah, the directors made them drive cars everywhere. Americans have to somehow involve cars in every movie they make and it's disgusting. Dude, that's just draining the life out of me. It's just a movie, it's just a silly movie. I still agree with the overall message of the sub. The cars take up too much space in modern life and we should invest in more other in more and other modes of transport, like trains, cycling, walking, etc. I agree with that take, fair take. But 90% of it is just chronically online weirdos either wanting to abolish cars entirely or inventing scenarios to be outraged about. The post is relatively tame compared to other unhinged takes I've seen on there. Oh wait, we got some fact checking. I'm confused. The movie was released in 1985, but the first high-speed rail lines in Germany were not completed until 1991. Looking at the movie synopsis, they start in London, I guess? While well, reading this Wikipedia entry, it thinks it sounded like there wasn't a lot of high-speed rail lines completed by 1985. Maybe something in England that could be useful in a rail line that went from Paris to Lyon, France? The Channel Tunnel wouldn't even begin construction for another three years. Doesn't seem like high-speed rail lines were a viable option in 1985. So he's mad about a movie that wouldn't even have the... Oh, that's funny. That's even better. Just unsubbed from late-stage capitalism. North Korea defector returns home after calling South capitalist hell. Seoul police are investigating how a North Korean defector who fled south ended up back in the north, appearing tearful in a North Korean television interview. Lim Ji Hyun told viewers she had escaped a capitalist hell. The top rated comment was saying that South Korea was a capitalist hellhole because students sued an examiner for ending an exam 90 seconds early. Dude, have you not been to China? China isn't capitalist, is it? Furthermore, the original source says that the defector could have very well been kidnapped back across the border. I joined the sub many years ago to see legitimate criticisms of capitalism. Nowadays, it's full of stupid posts saying things like, inflation is just price gouging. In hindsight, I guess I should have seen it coming. Oh well, late stage subreddit. Breaking news, North Korea kidnapped defector uses her for propaganda. Oh, what? Just on something from this whole damn app. Can't even do sh** about a fat basement dweller ruining your mood. <laughs> it's just the Reddit logo looking so happy. What, he didn't do nothing to you, man. Just unsub from conservative memes. I am 100% conservative, but I do not agree with this poster's horrible take on homosexuality. One of the mods clearly agree with too. Straight men's psychological stress response to seeing two men kissing is the same as seeing maggots. What? Mc excuse me? <laughs> Just unsub from Dobbs. Most of his thumbnails became horny bait. Gotcha, it's usually what, yeah, people are getting clicks, yep. It's what it has, that's clickbait, baby. Ironic how the top right one featuring no sexy boobies got the most views. Well, yeah, because it's fake mon. Fake mon are cooler than horny bait. Yeah, 100%. Just unsubbed 691. Used to be a fun sub with a cool gimmick. Now it's suffered the same cruel fate as 196. How guys that use colon three want to be treated. Okay. Just unsubbed from FNAF memes. Too many porn jokes about Toy Chica and other highly sexualized characters. It, that is a robot. That is a damn robot. That is a robot that wants to kill people. Just so we're clear about what that is. Just unsubbed, trademark, from antinatalism. They're all insane. Isn't human existence a punishment by itself? I disagree. I think that life is very nice. Uh, you know, you get to have things, you get to have, uh, you know, sunlight and you get to watch uh, The Kill Count by James A. Janice. I think that's a great, I think that's a great time. Shouldn't we be aiming to not reproduce towards the highest possible good and avoid this tragedy? Aha. Uh -huh. And then that's a very long post underneath. I'm, I'm not even gonna engage with it, but uh, yikes. <laughs> okay. I thought it was a sub with culture and Twitter beef, but it's just VTubers and these. What's and these? Oh, oh. 